Hey guys, and welcome to a new episode of my Minecraft server Let's Play. So what Minecraft is, and you've probably heard it a couple of times, is a server that me and my friends play on just to start building some things together, because as you saw when I was doing the treehouse, I was doing it all alone. Uh, but here, I get to work with a lot of people. Uh, it's really cool. And other than that, um, after I show you around everyone's places, I want to show you the railway that I built to connect all the places together. So let's get started. Um, this is my place right here. On the left you have my house with um, this is a nice abstract sort of artsy looking place. Um, maybe artsy? Yeah, I guess so. And I have a little land bridge that I keep failing to get across. Um, also we have a tree farm in the middle that I made. Um, I made like a, a dirt platform about nine blocks up to keep the trees from from going further up um, than you know than than I can reach from the ground floor. I'll talk to you more about that later. Um, I I feel like I've I've shown you that um, in the treehouse let's play, so we could go into that sometime soon. This is the wheat farm um, that I have in in a nice crevice of the hill here. Um, you might find it funny that I created my base in in like a ditchy looking area whereas most people would want to find a mountain or something or they'd want to at least be on the plains area but I chose to be right next to a hill so I'll give you a tour around my place this is <laughs> this is my humble abode it's my chest this is my bed um, creepers sometimes come in here as I keep talking about before in like every let's play that I play Here's here's a room that's currently in, uninhabited and not quite decorated as well as I hoped for yet because we're right on the side of a hill. I had to carve out a bunch of things in here. Not too special. This is the second floor where you get a nice view. Again, I like views. So all these windows here and that over there is the hub which which is made out of lava and and stone um stone bricks. And in the middle is the nether. I'll show you that in a second. We call this the hub because this is the place where people can spawn in um, on their on their first time here on the Minecraft server. And it's actually really cool. Damian had built this uh, right from the start. I had helped him a little bit, but he's made this really cool lava column sort of thing here. It's really neat. Um, he has he has a bunch of videos where he's been trying to make the perfect the perfect lava or water um, intertwines uh, pyramid structure on the top. This is Damian's base over here so it's, it's pretty neat, pretty small and dinky uh, but it's cute, it's nice. And he had made that first before everyone had joined the server so he's definitely capable of a lot of bigger things. Over here is a sheep farm and you could definitely hear the sheep hopefully. Um, and over here is, is our mob spawner where zombies come in and and we kill them for experience um, experience farm right so over there at the very far end is uh, is my friend Zareth 28 who has his mountain base over there you see that little gray thing in the middle of the mountain with like light coming out of it it's pretty cool and also I want to show you another place that's that's pretty cool here is my other friend Hernhu who um, after I get across this bridge and defeat that spider oh my goodness freaking oh my god oh my god let's kill this thing oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god oh god damn it the spider is really crafty I mean seriously let's eat something first hide this again so you guys can get like a full view it's pretty cool right right here is Hern who's base oh my god there's oh my god <laughs> oh my goodness it's really cool and I'm not gonna show you all that because it's currently infested with monsters oh god oh god oh god oh god let's get back to base first I'll go to sleep hello again guys I woke up and it's funny thing, uh, even though all those monsters were chasing me back to my place, I was able to sleep. I had a little message saying you can't sleep when monsters are nearby, but I slept anyway, mother truckers. So going all the way back here is the railway that I set up, which 
It took me a couple hours to do, just because, again, I'm I'm sort of new with redstone. But I've been practicing, and it's, it's pretty fun. Uh, I'll show you the basic structure that I have here that um, I've used on all the on all the railway stations in this server so far we'll use my little crosshair so here when um, you have the the boosters here as I've talked about in the cube hamster server which when lit up when powered on these boosters will provide uh, more speed to the cart and also, if it's turned off, it'll stop the cart. It'll reduce speed dramatically to the cart. Here you have a sensor, um, a detector rail, that's what it's called. Detector rail, and you see here it's made with iron and redstone, not gold like the, like the booster rails have, so it's a little bit easier and more accessible to make. What these do is that when a cart goes through it, it turns on it turns on these booster rails for a second here through the redstone and what that does it allows you to oh can't go through because I don't have enough speed do I have enough speed oh my god I don't know oh got it got it got it got it oh. well, I'll show you in a second so what what this detector rail does is it turns on the booster rails for for a little second so I could go across and stop right at this downhill slope You'd want to stop at this downhill slope so you have some speed to get you to the next uh, to the next segment of the railway. We also have a button here that turns this thing on for about two seconds. Um, and so, again, why I want it two seconds is that when the next person comes in, they're able to stop. They won't have to move on sort of accidentally. And that's why I didn't use a lever or a redstone torch. So it's pretty simple. I have this sort of like V, upside down V structure, which helps me out. This is going to my caves. I'll show you that in, in another time. Get up here. So the good thing about this too, uh, physics sort of, is that if you're going uphill, if you're going uphill, it slows down the cart, even though it probably doesn't work in this case because these are booster rails, but even so, the cart is going in very slow and will keep slowing down until it gets to this point. A big trouble that I had with like starting um, the, the railway system was that even if I had turned off booster rails going downhill, if I had a cart going too fast up, it'll just, it'll just <laughs> ignore this and go straight down and then, and then you'd find yourself just stuck in the middle of there. So this structure allows me to make sure that the cart slows down enough um, so it'll stop here. Really cool. So I'm gonna take this cart, put it over here, and take you over to Hernhu's base, which I couldn't show you before because of all those monsters. And I'm pretty sure it's day, even though I hear a lot of spiders. So here we have it, taking me uphill. This is Hernhu's base. This is probably the nicest thing that I've made so far in this server. Just got some redstone off, put it back in, and see here it's made by stone um, stone bricks and some fences and some wooden upside down stairs as well as in general wood blocks out here. If her who won't mind, I'll just um, I'll just destroy that for a second. Show you from the outside. It looks like a nice place here. Uh, I'm still working on it. But it looks like the nicest thing that I've made so far, uh, which I'm really glad. Right next to Hernhu's base, which is a castle-looking structure made out of cobblestone, and his tower that goes all the way up here, uh, which is really cool because when you get up there, this is actually gold and some, I think, blue wool or gold, golden lapis lazuli, I'm not sure. Uh, and so if you go up here, you could actually see all of the Minecraft server, um, all the buildings here, and there's only about like five to ten of us so we haven't explored too much or built too much but it's cool nonetheless so I think that's that's it for this as you see like I'm trying to perfect the the best platform here it's not the same upside down V structure as I was talking about before just cuz there's there's no other um, this is not continuing back anywhere but I wanna tell you that this 
this uh, I plan to continue over to the hub over in the center which would be really neat because then there will be a railway station at every base at everywhere uh, and you won't have to walk anywhere you won't have to use your tired feet you just be able to chill out in a railway cart now another problem of this is that a few times I'll have I'll have zombies or something spawn in this downstairs area. See, I put a lot of torches here. I was pretty OCD about it. But nonetheless, you'll still get monsters uh, spawning down here just because it's a cave area and it's just generally darker than the light that you put into it. Here we're going to Zareth's base, or what was Zareth's base, um, now turned into a railway station in the middle of nowhere. And we stop here is a really nice really nice stop as I said took me a while to make this too I'll show you the outside of this before we move on to Zareth's mountain base and Zareth um, made the railway between this base to the mountain base because this was once Zareth's place so I pretty much told him I'm gonna continue your ra railway system to my area and continue it over to Hernhu and just make a whole circuit really nice see over here this sort of uses the V structure as well. I haven't I hadn't really decorated it much at all. But I gave it the bare bones elements. It goes up a little bit, goes down a bit, and then goes back up again. And then I'm trying to create some abstract thing here. Put some stone bricks from like side to side to sort of simulate the direction that the rail the railway's going, uh just to make it look pretty. But I hope to decorate that a little more as time goes on. Um but yeah, definitely a, an improvement on my redstone uh, from from what I had before. Though I wanted to show you guys like a, a the new idea I had for my for my uh, railway system at the Cube Hamster server. But the thing is, the Cube Hamster server has been offline for the past couple of days, so I can't really experiment with that. The different routes I was talking to you about just got thrown backwards. So. Here you have like a totally linear track as as you see. Like it doesn't go different routes or anything, it just goes continuously from Hernhu to me to Zareth to Zareth's mountain base. So I'm I'm thinking I'll be able to experiment with the different routes on the railway when I continue on to Damien's base slash the hub. Um and and new bases that come in those will require like an offshooting off of current stations such as maybe Zareth's base not the mountain base but Zareth's base um, being split with a with a railway going from there to the hub or there to another friend's base or whatever we'll see as as time goes on uh, I'll show you the progress and someone's dog is here I think it's Hern whose dog Hern who just like just left for <laughs> for the hour or for the day, so I don't know why his dog is still here, and I didn't tame that dog. So this is Zareth's base. I hope he doesn't mind. This is an empty bedroom, and and you have his lookout, which is over here, looks out onto the hub. Uh, you can see the hub from everywhere, pretty much. Um, I know as as we as people will try to build further away from the hub, you won't be able to see it as much anymore. But that'll be just more reason for me to make a railway station even further away from where we are. I'm pretty pretty fond of that right now. It's a it's a little bit of a whim for me to do the railway stuff. I know there's other things you could create and the railway system is, is a basic thing you'd make in Minecraft. But I want to show you that anyway, because again, I'm I'm a noob, as as I've mentioned lots of times before. So don't mind my noobness um, as as I show you around. And actually, I think if I continue talking, I'll just continue rambling. So we'll end it there for for today, and I'll show you the progress as it as it goes. Make sure you like my videos, comment, and subscribe to my videos and stuff. Definitely trying to find some different content, and I know that I've been showing you different things like all the time not really focusing on one central thing just because I'm trying to get myself familiar with Minecraft and some cool things you can make in Minecraft so 
So if you let me know what you guys like and what you don't like, it'll it'll probably help me. It'll definitely help me out. Actually, not probably. It'll definitely help me out with figuring out what I what I should do or what I want to do in Minecraft. What you guys want to see. So yeah. So let me know and you guys take care.